Let's go! Woo okay, guys, so today we're talking about 2022's prediction of real estate. If you're new here, I am Kira Ford. My channel talks about real estate tips and tricks, dance, fitness, go tees, and much, much more. I actually need to do more of the, you know, dance and fitness things, but that will come. That will come. All right. I know that you have read the title, 2022's House Marking Predictions. So I'm gonna give you five of the predictions that I believe will happen this year. So make sure you stay to the very end so you get all five tips so you can be ahead of the curve. And if you decide to buy, you'll make the right decision. All right, so let's start off with number five. So we're starting off with number five, which is housing building surge. That means that there's gonna be so many houses that are gonna be finally completed, which will create even more inventory because right now when I tell you inventory is stupid low, I mean stupid low. Okay, so if you have a house and you're thinking about selling, don't think anymore, let's put it on the market, okay? We also are expecting at least 1.5 million homes to actually be completed in 2022. So that's gonna bring so much more inventory for people to buy homes. Um, and so this is gonna be an exciting time for buyers. Moving on to number four. Number four is this is the year of foreclose, okay guys? So the people who we've been telling, hey, sell your house, sell your house before the house housing market floods with homes. I, I, I am a firm believer, not just me, but also uh, my source is Black Knight. They are expecting that this is the year of foreclosed homes. There are so many homes that were in forbearance, so many people who are back, well, is it back? Not back taxes, but late on uh, paying their mortgage. Um, they are, they haven't paid their mortgage, so the, the books are backed up. So this year is gonna be the year that foreclosed homes come on to the market. We already saw Zillow had, you know, bought all these homes and they put them back on the market because they overbought. <laughs> and yeah, and under delivered, but, you know, I'm glad that they got to it. Moving on to, so number three is mortgage rates are going up, guys. I continue to tell people each and every day, buy real estate and wait. Don't wait to buy real estate. And this is the reason why, because when interest rates go back up, honey, you're gonna have to buy more of a house. Well, less of a house, more money, okay? And you could have already bought the house with less interest, like, come on. And I plan on um, bringing on a lender, either a VA lender um, or just one of my lenders who help a lot of my clients with down payment assistance. And this is shout out to my buyers. These are that; Those are the ones that you want to watch if you are a buyer. I'm going to also have um, next week just like what to expect as a seller, what to expect as a buyer. So you'll get those new those two videos back to back. So I'm able to really guide my buyers and my sellers this year, okay? Moving on to number two. Yeah, because we did number five, we did number four, that was three. Yes, so moving on to number two. Honey, I wish I was like, I hate to be the messenger of bad news, but inflation is hot y'all i mean it's in the double digits inflation is going to continue to rise and so with that being said is you're going to buy you're going to have a higher price for the same things so this is also a good year to purchase but also it's a good year to really scale back really look at your budgets first off you should be looking at a budget regardless but look at your budget try to um live be below your means because you don't notice how much more money you're spending because in every area is an increase, okay? So gas prices are increased, then you have food prices that are increased, then you have clothes that are increased. Increase. So it doesn't feel like it in those small purchases, but as a whole, you start to feel it because things are more expensive. So inflation is gonna be super hot this year, and I honestly think that it's gonna continue to go up. So we have to be prepared, okay? Um, that that is that's my two cents when it comes to inflation. All right, moving on to number one. So, home prices are predicted to flatten out in 2022, and I know you're like, well, Kira, then why would I go ahead and buy now? Well, the reason why you would go ahead and buy now is because in mortgage, 
uh, mortgage uh, interest rates are gonna go higher. So even if the price is lower, but your interest rate is higher, you're still paying more for a home. So it is best for you to go ahead and buy now um, and get under contract because your interest rates are gonna be lower than, yes, you might be buying with the price, the actual price being lower, but when your interest rate is higher, you still pay the same or more, okay? Um, so those are my predictions. Let's do a quick little summary. Number five, it was the home building uh, sur surplus, surplus, I guess. There's gonna be so many homes, 1.5 million homes that will be completed this year. So we're gonna have more inventory. Number four was foreclosed year. This is the year that homes are gonna come onto the market because they're gonna be foreclosed. The, uh, the records are showing that there's still so many people who have not been paying. They are in that forbearance and forbearance is up. They're not gonna be able to continue to waive anybody's mortgage okay number three it was what was number three let me look at my paper okay number three was interest rates interest rates are going to go up mortgage rates are going up buy now what do they say buy real estate and wait don't wait to buy real estate i cannot tell you guys that enough okay number two that is inflation inflation is going to go up y'all this is just it's this is just where we're at in our economy COVID. people don't want to work inflation is going to go up so really stick to a budget um and then and don't don't buy above your means all right and then number one Home prices will flat now. Not saying that people aren't gonna still get deals because I'm still getting clients who are selling and getting over asking price, okay? It's just not gonna be as crazy as it has been, okay? I hope this has helped. You know my goal is, as your real estate cheerleader, is to cheer you on through the process, but also give you game winning results. Let's talk about how we can either help you buy or sell this year, okay guys? Creating generational wealth is the number one way to build wealth. Okay, let's buy real estate and wait. Don't wait to buy real estate. I love you guys. Peace. Until next time. Oh my gosh, there she is. It's Kira Ford. Kira Ford. You don't know what? what? You've never heard? Oh my gosh, she's played every time.